Hi, this is Mr. Bloom with Academic Geometry at Paytel High School. This is the homework for September 25th, 2019. This is assignment 2B6. <clears throat> so we're writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. We need to determine here if the following lines EF and GH, whether they're parallel, perpendicular, Whether they coincide or intersect. All right? Parallel lines are going to have the same slope. Perpendicular lines are going to have the negative inverse slope, or my opposite flop that we talked about. Coincide, that's the same line on the graph. Intersect, if the lines intersect, that's because they have different slopes. All right, I have two sets of points. I have EF is my first segment, and GH is my second segment, and these are my set of points. So I need to find my slope. So the equation for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's plug in those points. So 1 subtract 3 over 6 subtract a negative 2 would be adding 2. So this is going to be a negative 2 over 8 which equals a negative one-fourth. So that is my point, or my segment EF. That is the slope. Oh, this is a line. It's got arrowheads up there. I didn't see that before. This is line EF, and this is line GH. So let's figure out the slope here. And figure out, we can determine whether these are parallel, perpendicular, coincide, or intersect. So line GH, put those arrowheads on there, and we're going to simply use the equation y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, and that's equal to 5 minus 4 divided by 2, subtract 4. This is, numerator is 1, denominator is going to be, uh, oh, I did this wrong. It's minus 6. I looked at the wrong number. This is 2 subtract 6, and that's negative 4. Well, now look. I have a slope of negative 1 fourth, and I have another slope of negative 1 fourth. Because these are equal, these two slopes are equal, we have here some parallel lines. You're done. That was our determination. When slopes are the same, we have two lines that are parallel to each other. This one, well, we want to put this equation in the form y equals mx plus b so we can find the slope. So let's do that. That's solving for x. So let's subtract 3x, subtract 3x. I get 2y equals a negative 3x plus 10. I'm going to divide by 2. I'm solving for y. So y equals a negative 3 halves x plus 5. Okay. If I want a line perpendicular to this line, the slope m is equal to negative 3 halves. All right? Well, my opposite flop, I'm going to switch my numerator and denominator. So this is going to become 2 thirds, and my negative is going, to, is going to go opposite. So this is going to be a positive 2 thirds. So this is the slope of my perpendicular line that passes through point 38. So now I have a point. I have a slope we're going to use our point slope form. 
So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay? So let's plug these in. So this is y, and we're subtracting a y term, which is 8, which is 8. Oh, that's, that's fading on me. So, so this is equal to my slope, which is 2 thirds times x minus my x value, which is 3. That's your solution. That's your solution. That's number two. Let's go to the third one. Well, I've got a line to a point negative 5, 4 with slope 2 thirds. I'm going to use point slope. I am going to use point slope. So let's write this out, that equation out. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The pink is the points, or the information we're plugging in. I have a point, negative 5, 4, this is my xy. That's where I'm going to plug in for y, plug in for x, and I'm going to plug that in for slope. Here we go. Plug those in. My y is 4. My slope is 2 thirds. My x is negative 5, so that's plus 5. Plus 5. And that's my answer. I'm done. I am done. The next one, I have a line parallel to x plus 4y equal 4 passing through point 4, 1. So I'm going to solve for y. I put this in the form of y equals mx plus b. Okay? So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract the x. I subtract x. So I get 4y. Let's get this up for you. 4y. equals a negative x plus 4. Now I'm solving for y. So next step, i got to divide by 4. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. So I get y equals a negative 1 fourth x plus 1. So my slope of this line is negative 1 fourth. If I want a line parallel, it has to be the same slope as this line. So my slope here is going to be a negative 1 fourth. So now I have a point. I have a slope. I'm going to use my point slope equation. Equals slope m times x minus x1. That's it. Now I plug in the information. That's our equation. So y minus our point 1 equals our slope, negative 1 fourth, times x minus my other x, which is 4. End of story. Final answer. And I'm asking us to simplify it. They're just asking us for the equation. You simply plug in, which, plug in those, those unknowns in their appropriate spots, and you are done with that problem. That's the front page. Let's go to the back. Given 2x plus 3y equals 8 and 4x minus ky equals 12, find the value of k so that the lines will be parallel. Well, let's do this one. I didn't do this one in class, but I'm going to do this one with you right now. So I'm going to solve for y. So I'm subtracting 2x, subtracting 2x. So this is 3y equals a minus 2x plus 8. Dividing by 3, dividing by 3. So this is y equals a negative 2 thirds x plus 8 thirds. Okay? For these to be parallel, they have to be the same slope. So let's solve this other one. Let's solve this other one for y. Now we have a k in there, so it's okay. We'll just, we'll just divide it out and see what we get. I'm going to write this out. 
So I'm going to subtract 4x, subtract 4x. So this is a negative ky. And this is a negative 4x plus 12. So I'm going to divide by negative k. Divide, I have two things divide by negative k. And so y equals a negative 4 um, over k times x. And this, this is just garbage right now. So this is negative. OK? So this negative 2 thirds, let's put this in red. We want to figure out what k needs to be for these slopes to be equal, because we want to have two parallel lines. To do that, they have to be same slope. Okay? So 2 thirds needs to be equal to. Uh, this is negative 4 over negative k, so it's just 4 over k, because k was negative. So how does that look? Well, now look here. These have to be equivalent, so what do we have to multiply 2 by to get 4? What do we have to multiply 2 by to get 4? Because that's the same thing we have to multiply k by, or 3 by to get k. Well, the answer is negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So if we multiply negative, if we multiply negative 2 times 3, we get k is negative 6. Okay? That's our solution. Okay. So k equals negative 6. That's, that's our solution. Next one. Find the equation of a line parallel to AB that goes through C. So we have a line that's parallel. Let's try and make something parallel. It goes right through C and it's parallel to AB. Well, to do that, we got to figure out, first we've got to figure out what point C is at, and C is 3, 1. Now we've got to figure out rise over run here for RB for AB. So here's 2, 4, 6. There's a drop of 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, and a run of 8. So my slope is a negative 6 eighths, which equals a negative 3 fourths. So there's our, there's our slope, there's our point that the line's on. Now we can do point slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. End of story. Plug in that information. So this becomes y minus my y1 is 1 equals my slope, which is negative 3 fourths times x minus my x is 3. That's our solution right there. That's it. Next one. Find the equation of a line perpendicular now to AB. Well, we just figured out what the slope was. The slope was negative 6 over 8. Negative 6 over 8. We're simplified to negative 3 over 4. We still have um, this line going through C, but it's going to be going this way. And it's going to be perpendicular to that line AB. So that's a 90-degree that's a angle. So to do that, we've got to do an, a flip, an opposite flip. So my 3 and 4 switch, my numerator and my denominator, becomes 4 thirds. What was negative now becomes opposite, becomes positive. So here is my slope. Now letter C, or point C, is still 3, 1. So I have my, my point and I have my slope. So I'm just going to plug it in to my equation. So y minus my y1 is 1 is equal to 4 thirds. See how my slope is different from up here? But otherwise, everything else is the same. x minus 3. That's our solution. That's our solution. Last one, number eight. 
find an equation of the perpendicular bisector of AC. Perpendicular bisector. So we don't know what point that is, but we know that the perpendicular bisector splits AB in half. And so that is our midpoint. That is our midpoint between AB. So let's find out what that is. So point A is negative 3, 3. Point B is 2, 4, 5, 5, negative 3. So B is 5, negative 3. So midpoint, I shouldn't put equal there. Midpoint is equal to um, x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So we're taking the average between the x's. And we're taking the average, y1 plus y2, of our y's. Let's plug in those points. So x1 is negative 3. I'm adding 5. I'm dividing by 2. y1 is 3. And then negative 3 divided by 2. So negative 3 plus 5 is 1. I'm sorry, 2. <laughs> divided by 2 is 1. So this first point, my x is 1. 3 I add 3. That's supposed to be a plus. I add a negative 3. That's 0. 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So this is my midpoint. This is my midpoint. 1, 0. So right there is my midpoint. And so I have a perpendicular bisector going right there through that point. So we figured out what the slope was. We figured out that slope was back in the last problem was, was negative 3 fourths. And we did the uh, opposite flop, and this had to be um, 4 thirds. So now, this time, our 4 thirds are going to remain the same. The only difference is our point now is 1, 0 instead of uh, 3, 1. Okay? So this point was 3, 1 that went through that line. So <clears throat> all i got to do is plug in this point. This remains the same. So my point... My point slope equation is going to be 1, subtract 0, and that's equal to my 4 thirds is my slope times x minus 1. We're done. All right, this is Mr. Bloom, Academic Geometry at Peitao High School. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.